punishments. And mm. what's really interesting about punishments is that learning from your mistakes is very complicated. And so, yeah. you know, the simple answer of why you shouldn't do punishments is, you know, it, it, may, it it's a negative orientation. It's focusing on the negatives versus the positives. All of those things are true. But I think actually the scientific background of it's very complicated to understand what you did wrong and mm -hmm. why you're getting punished. Mm -hmm. So yeah. as a very simple example, if my toddler spills milk on the table and I say, hey, go to your room now that you spilled milk on the table. What did she do wrong there? Was it putting milk on the table to begin with? Was it that she was not focused on what she was doing and knocked it over again on accident? Was it right. the table that she wasn't supposed to put things on? You know, right. it's, it's not mm -hmm. clear where the mistake is. Mm -hmm. So I think especially for children who are still developing so much of their cognitive abilities, yeah. really understanding what they did wrong mm -hmm. is very difficult in a punishment oriented um, right. There's so many variables involved in there. So many we're, variables. We're, you know, taking it back to the context of what you were talking about before with the rewards. It was very simplified and very, um, you know, categorized as to this is what specifically needs to happen, and then this is what will come about from that. Exactly, and I think yeah. rewards then, like you just said, can do that. They can say, "Hey, you did this very specific thing, mm -hmm. therefore you get this very specific thing, or you earn this very specific thing." So that mm -hmm. link is made so very clearly in children's mm -hmm. mind. Whereas a punishment is like, well, what did I do wrong? What what was I supposed to do? I'm not supposed to accidentally hit the milk. You know, how am I to prevent that? Right. Uh, so yeah. I think, you know, that to me is one of the biggest drivers. And obviously, mm -hmm. you know, as somebody that's also very passionate about positive parenting, mm -hmm. um, there's a whole slew of research around um, you know, the shame and blame and what that does for long-term effects on yeah the way children kind of perceive themselves mm -hmm. um, and how they kind of go about the world, you know, in a punishment orientation, they're going to do just enough to not get punished, right? They're not really thinking right. about the bigger picture. They're just, mm -hmm. oh, don't put the milk on that table because we get in trouble if we put milk on that table mm -hmm. versus just drink milk at the dinner table, you know, like that's the only table <laughs> that you should have the milk on. Right. Um, so I think I think that's a very important aspect of punishment mm -hmm. as well, the positive parenting kind of yeah. research. Yeah, that, that makes so much sense. I